we're talking about overflow of faith. But God said, if I be lifted, come on. Oh,
is created to get your mind off of God. Because when your mind is on God, it's when you have perfect peace. Somebody tell the devil no this morning.
Every time you get on somebody's prayer line, it's my people. Hallelujah. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord. I mean, that's going to be the new 23rd Psalm. You know, that's the first one they teach you, right? Lord is my shepherd. I mean, even people who don't come to church know that. Hallelujah. But this has been just burning in my spirit. Thank you, Lord God. We're talking about just that way. I don't I, I, I'm not gonna call it the way of escape. I'm gonna say the way out. Amen. God always leaves a way out. Yes. And I'm talking about an impossible situation. Situation where you physically call it somewhere, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about spiritual situations, yes. heartfelt situations yes. that are harder. Anybody experience things in your life that's harder than the physical yes. atmosphere? Yes. I mean, spiritually, ain't no worse hurt. Come on, yes. than to feel spiritually broken. Yes. Come on. Mentally broken. Yes. You want to talk about some pain? Yes. Come on, somebody know what I'm talking about today. Yes. You want to talk about some rain? Yes. You want to talk about, uh, uh, as the scripture is going to say, feel like heaven has been shut up against you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Now we know Malachi 3 says he will open up the windows of heaven and pour us out of it. Anybody ever felt like God just closed the door? Yes. He just closed the window. Amen. But the devil is a liar. Yes. I'm here to tell you that's your feeling. Yes. Hello? Yes. That's your feeling. Yes. That is not the word. His mercy endures forever. And God knows I need it every day. Even with the cross on this morning, I need it. Come on, this cross don't make you holy. This cross don't exempt you from the difficulties of life. Standing behind this sacred desk does not exempt you. No, it's not. Hallelujah. From those weapons that are formed against you. Hallelujah. But the Bible says he is my help. He is my strength. He is my strong tower. He is my pavilion. He is my help that I can run into. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse, we're going to start with verse 12. Because this thing had to be spoken to Solomon. And the Bible says, and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer. Yes. I have heard thy prayer. Let's stop right there. Come on, you need to ask yourself, am I praying about this situation? Or am I complaining about this situation? Yes. Your complaints get nowhere with God. Come on now, I tried it. Oh yeah, I tried it. I complained about everything. From myself to my marriage to my children, I complained. Nothing changed. Until I started to pray about it because prayer is a two-way street. Oh, somebody need to hear that today. Yes, it is. Prayer is not always you talking, but it requires listening yes. on your ear. Hallelujah. Sometimes prayer is shutting your mouth yes. and waiting for the word yes. to be spoken into your life. Yes. Hallelujah. So here, Solomon. Amen. Was praying and the Lord said, I heard your prayer. Yes. And I've chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. Yes. This is a promise that he's about to speak. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody.
God, he's chosen me for right now. This place that I'm in right now, whatever situation you may find yourself in, whether it be a negative place, whether it be a place of great comfort, whatever it is, wherever uh, you are, I want God to be there. Yes. God said, I've chosen this place for myself. Yes. Wherever you are, I'm about to show you something. Mm. I'm about to show you. If I shut up heaven Come on. Come on. and there be no rain, God knows we felt like that many times where we feel like the blessings of God are not coming down on us. Yes. We come to church Sunday after church, Sunday after Sunday singing, when the praises go up, the blessings come down, yes. but you walk out of here still broken. Yes. Not feeling blessed. Yes. Not feeling the rain of God. If I command the locusts to devour the land, Come on. seems like everything you do is being eaten up. You're not getting any nourishment. You're not getting any, uh, you're not able to be sustained by a lot of the things that you do. Jeez. Or if I send pestilence Come on. among my people. Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> God said, even if I allow some things to happen in your life, mm -hmm. some hard times, yes, sir. we're not exempt. No. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I know we don't like to say it as preachers, but sometimes the Lord will send some things your way. Amen. Just to get your attention yes, and to get you to turn around from what you're doing. You know why? Because when he sent it, it has a purpose. Amen. And he said, my thoughts are towards you are never for evil. Yeah. But it's for good. The plans that I have for you, the thoughts that I, that's the word of God, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's never for evil, but it's always for good. Amen. All things work together for the good. For the good. Mm. To them that love God. And to them that are called according to to his purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. So what I'm saying today that whether you think it's from the devil mm. or whether you think it's God said, prayer still works. <laughs> Come on, somebody say prayer still works. It's the same way out every time. You ain't got to look for no new revelation. Tell somebody, prayer still works. Hallelujah. And that's something that we always have access to. But how many know that's the number one thing that the devil tries to block from us? See, y'all think it's stuff. But it's the prayer that the devil wants to get your mind off of. Your flesh wants to get your, every time you get on your knees, they start hurting. Come on, somebody. Your flesh don't want you on your knees. Stomach start rumbling. You just ain't. Way out. We're looking for a 
Listen. You're looking for a way out. What did Jesus say he was? He said, I am the way. I'm the door. I'm the way. I'm the truth. And I'm the life. And no man can come. In other words, no man can get out of their situation unless they come through me. Because the way out is God. There is no other way. Come on, somebody say, there is no other way. Hallelujah. It seems so obvious when we're not going through. Oh, we can quote the scripture. Hallelujah. When people come, oh, pastor, I'm going through this and I'm going to come on, let's go to the word. Oh, we good at that. We good at going to the word when it ain't us going through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all have heard me talk about this many times. When we go through, we get spiritual aneurysms. The word just bleeds out of our minds. We forget everything the Bible says. Boy, when we ain't going through, we up here. The Bible says. But when we're going through, Hallelujah. We cry like little babies sucking on our thumb in the corner. Hallelujah. Lord, where are you? I need you now. And we ain't singing it as a praise. I mean, you can take the same song and twist the meaning just by your attitude. You can take the word and twist the meaning just by your attitude. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. But there is always a way out, and the way out is the door. Amen. Somebody say, walk through. Walk through. It's Jesus. Jesus. He is the door. But he said, if I, 13 said, if I shut up heaven and there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, yeah. shall humble themselves and do what? Pray, pray. Tell somebody it works every time. It works every time. It works every time. Yes. Hallelujah. May not turn out the way you thought, mm -hmm. but it works Amen. every time. Yes. There's been some impossible situations that I thought I would never be able to overcome. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But God makes it palatable. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. He makes it palatable to where you can swallow it mm -hmm. and keep moving. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't never been through nothing then. Yes, Hallelujah. Have you ever had something in your life to where it didn't exactly work out to plan? Uh -huh. But God gave you enough strength uh -huh. to keep on walking. Uh -huh. He gave you enough strength to keep on believing. Because uh -huh. at first the devil had you thinking, this ain't God. There's no way God would put me in this position. Uh -huh. How can he let this loved one die? How can he let this loved one be this?
become the chief of the war. Because of one day we said yes to the Lord. He said, if I should have heaven. Oh, let me get back to the scripture. I'm, I'm in it, I'm in it. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to a close. Don't, don't get scared. It says here, if my people would you call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yeah, there's some things you have to do. It ain't all on him. It ain't all on God. Amen. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, there's a reason for this chronological order that he put it in. Just like the man when they brought him to Jesus and he said, I'm going to forgive his sins. Mm -hmm. And he looked at him like he was strange and said, can't you see the obvious situation of this man? Come on, man. This man is paralyzed. Can't you see? Mm -hmm. Can't you see? Don't you see the obvious sickness in his life? Yes. yes. But Jesus knows the chronological order yes. that you need to be made whole. Uh, and it starts with the forgiveness uh -huh. of your sins. Yes. Uh, Come on, somebody. Okay. Because without that, <laughs> your healing is in vain. Amen. Uh, he ain't giving you no healing is to go back out and continue to do what you used to do. <laughs> so you can be a, a healthier devil than when you came in.
become a God we serve. Yes. Not only will he be a Paul in Gilead. Yes. Come on, not only will he be that sad. Mm. Come on, that soothes your soul. Yes. But he will start to do the healing process. Yes, he will. Yes. Spiritually. Anybody know what I'm talking about today? Hallelujah. Talking about Jesus. Jesus. He will heal your land. Yes, he will. Thank you. Last verse, my eyes. He says, now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Do you acknowledge him? You're looking for a way out? Yeah. You're looking for a way out? Mm -hmm. You're looking for a way out your trouble, out of your debt, mm -hmm. out of your circumstances? Yes. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Yeah. He'll give you direction. Yes, he will. He'll show you to the, he'll escort. Yes, he will. He'll escort you yes, he will. to the door. Hallelujah. Anybody know I'm finished?
asking you, asking you to help me and give me the strength to walk through the door of salvation. I know that you're here with me. Forgive me for all of my sin and all of my shortcomings. And I will lean and depend on you for the rest of my life. Save me, Jesus. of my life. With your help, I will do it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God a praise right now. Do you have a made up mind today? I said, do you have a made up mind today? That I will never be broke or broken again in my life. Because his strength Hallelujah. And his grace is sufficient for me. Come on, I'm just going to pray with your hands where you are. Father God, we come to you right now on behalf of your people. Father, you know who's here. You had a divine appointment with them today. Maybe they felt they were invited. Maybe somebody shared the link on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. But God, we know that this is a divine appointment today. That you purposed us to be here to hear this word from the Holy Ghost. We ask you right now to make it alive in our lives. In the name of Jesus. It is our desire to be made whole. We don't want the masking. We don't want the band-aids of the world. But we want healing that can only come from you. Heal relationships today. Heal marriages yes. in the name of Jesus. Sons and daughters, mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, whatever station they may find themselves in, we ask you for healing. Yes. Help them to realize, oh God, if they don't have you in the center of their situation, there will be no real healing. Yes. There will be no real deliverance. Yes. There will be no real help. Yes. Because all of our help comes from the Lord. Help us to call on you. Even when we seem like we can't find our way to the altar. Help us to realize the altar is where we are. Wherever we stand. You said that we can call on the name of Jesus. You said we could ask anything in your name. And that you would do it, Father God. So help us to realize that you are there. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. In the name of Jesus. We thank you and we count it done. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. amen. Come on, give God a praise today. Come on, we thank God for everybody that's joining us online today. We bid you God's speed and we pray the blessings of God over you and your household. Amen. And we want to say happy birthday to everybody in this month. Amen. Everybody in this month, we want to say happy birthday to you. And I almost forgot, before we go, we're going to do communion. Yes. Real quick, y'all, real quick. Come on, do you have your communion cups? Yes. Not that I want to rush through communion. Amen. But we're going to go ahead and just acknowledge God today. Thank you, Jesus. So remain where you're standing. If you don't have your communion, just lift your hands and we'll give it to you. She will assist you. Amen. I know y'all at home, you're running. Go ahead, run to the refrigerator, run wherever you got to go. Get what you got to get. Amen. So that we can do this together. Thank you, Lord God. Come on, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this time that we can come together to acknowledge you. Acknowledge your blood that was shed for us for the remission of our sins. Father, we realize right now, oh God, that we're in this time of Christmas season where many are uh, concentrating on the gifts that we will receive and the things that we will get and obtain because this is a time that was set aside to remember your birth, that you were the gift to us. 
that God sent his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him do not have to perish but we have access to everlasting life but we realize that it was not just your coming that gave us the door but it was your blood come on somebody say your blood, your blood. that was shed for us for the remission of our sins which is the true gift of God we are going to take advantage of today in Jesus' name. Sanctify this bread. Sanctify this cup. And it will meet the needs of your people. Bring healing. Bring healing. Bring wholeness to our lives. In the name of Jesus. We won't be broken. We won't be denied from the blessings of God. In Jesus' name. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to the disciples and said, take eat. But this is my body. Let us eat in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Real quick, the song says, give me a clean heart so I may serve thee. Lord,